Here in the next few hours, you need to look amazing. Maybe it's an important presentation, could be a job interview, maybe it's a hot date. In any case, gentlemen, you want to look your best. So, how to go from ordinary to extraordinary, gentlemen, the answer is obvious. Watch today's video, 10 quick tips to improve your style in mere minutes. Tip number one, leverage the power of color. Boom, you see it? I just introduced the color red to this outfit. Why does that matter? Because studies have shown that the color red, whenever you wear this, you're more likely to be believed. It's the color of authority. So, you want to bring in a red necktie, you want to bring in a red accessory, you want to bring the color red, even in a small amount, will have a huge effect on you giving a presentation, talking in front of a crowd, even in an interview, you're more likely to be believed. So, I changed things up just slightly, but now do you notice there's the color orange? Orange is going to be friendly. Orange is going to make you more approachable. It's a color that stands out. We don't see it common in menswear. Or what about the color yellow? The color yellow makes people happy. It makes you again more approachable. It makes you seem friendlier. So, if you're going to be engaging with people, you're going to be talking with people, maybe look to bring in the color yellow. And I'm not talking about a full yellow suit. It's just a small amount that you could bring into an accessory, you can bring into a piece of your wardrobe. Now, what about the color blue? If you've watched any of my videos, you know that I love this color. I bring it into my shirts, bring it into my jackets. Why though? Because it's a strong color. It's a color of strength. It's a trustworthy color. It's a versatile color. It's going to work with a lot of different other colors, so I make it a dominant piece of my wardrobe. Now, what about the color black? Me personally, I don't have a lot of black in my wardrobe. I don't bring it into the videos, but I think for dark complected men, for men that have black hair, lighter or medium skin, it can work out great for you. But you got to be careful because black, yes, it gives a strength, a power type of feeling, but it can also make you look overly aggressive. So, you need to be aware of that. Purple is perfect for neckties and accessories. Why? Because it's regal. It's got a history with royalty. So, whenever you wear this, it's something not like a lot of guys pull off, but I think when worn with a suit, when worn with nice clothing, in an accessory, it can really help you stand out and it's just a beautiful color. The next tip, gentlemen, improve the look of your collar. Gentlemen, I've talked about this before. The proximity of the collar to the face is key here. It frames the face, so you want to make sure that you've got a proper frame. Now, this is one of my favorite shirts, but I stopped wearing it for a while because I realized that the collar just looked horrible. To be honest, I just didn't wear it in videos until I discovered the Slick Collar. Guys, Slick Collar is the sponsor of today's video. I've talked about this company before. I absolutely love what they've done. They have basically created the solution to the problem of a floppy collar. So, you don't have to go out there and buy a whole bunch of new shirts. You can solve it with this device right here. Now, this is the way the slick collar works. You're going to take that weak, limp collar and you're going to flip it up and you're then going to take this and put it right in here. You're going to flip it down and all of a sudden, you've got a collar that has strength and looks a hundred times better. And the best part is you can take the slick collar and you can use it with any of your shirts. You can take it and wear it with any type of jacket, whether it be a leather jacket or a sports jacket or a suit jacket and you don't have to worry about that collar folding down underneath. So, what comes in the package? So, every set of slick collars comes in this metal container. I think it's actually pretty nice. So, you can store them, keep them in there. They've also got a pouch inside and you get two sets of slick collars, different sizes. Now, what's really cool about each of these is that you can adjust it to the size of your neck. So, if you've got a you know 10 inch neck, does anyone have one that small? Or if you've got a 25 inch neck, you will be able to wear slick collar. In addition, we've got these shirt stays they throw in there for free. So, guys, go grab your slick collar. I'm going to link to them down in the description of today's video with the best deal you're going to find out there. So, you're wearing a shirt, it's got wrinkles all over it, or you're wearing a necktie, it's too long, it's too short, you forgot your belt. What are you going to do, guys? You are going to cover it up with a jacket. Now, I didn't put that on as smooth as I would have hoped, but I think you get the point. A jacket, I've talked about the power of the jacket many, many times. Now, jackets aren't going to cure cancer, but what they are going to do is they're going to build up your shoulders. They are going to make your hands look a little bit larger. When buttoned and standing, they're going to make you, they're going to slim up your profile. Now, I'm not saying you got to wear a sports jacket or a suit jacket. Wear a leather jacket, wear a jean jacket, wear a fatigue jacket. The point here is to build up your masculine profile. Next up, let's talk about the power of fragrance. So, let's start off with the cologne with citrus notes. This can help you concentrate. Think about how valuable that is. You're in the middle of your work day, you've got that presentation coming up at the end of the day and you need to stay focused. You're a bit anxious, your mind's all over the place. You put on your favorite fragrance that has a bit of that citrus smell to it. All of a sudden, you focus in and you go crush that presentation. Or maybe you're super nervous, you just can't settle down. Well, then bring in lavender. It has a calming effect and it's going to help 
soothe your nerves. Or maybe it's just been a tough day. In fact, you almost feel a bit depressed. Well, then you want to bring in Jasmine because Jasmine's going to help make you feel better and improve your mood. If you're exhausted and you've already put in a 10 hour day, but you've got that date, you need to pick me up bring in rosemary. Rosemary fragrances are known for actually giving people a bit more energy. Not a fan of rosemary? Then bring in cinnamon or peppermint. Both of these much more common and what we're going to see with these is they're going to stimulate. They're going to get you a bit more excited, allow you to concentrate and be able to focus better. Next up, gentlemen, you want to look at yourself in the mirror, straighten everything out and say, damn, I look good. Okay, I'm half joking here, but saying mantras and actually being proud, actually looking at the man that you've become, every the work you've put into, that's a great thing. But you're also looking for blemishes. There's an older video I've gotten, which I have maple syrup on my lapel. I ate breakfast with my kids and somehow it got on there and I brought it to the office. Didn't even think to look. If I just would have looked in the mirror, I for years wouldn't have people writing me emails saying, hey, I noticed there's something on your lapel in this video you made five years ago. Point being, look at yourself, look at your teeth. Do you actually have something in your teeth? Maybe you want to actually go in and we can get to the next point, which is actually brush your teeth, freshen your mouth out, use a tongue cleaner, make sure that you've got the, you get rid of that bad breath. This is something a lot of people don't even notice is that they've got bad breath. You just had coffee this morning and people aren't going to say anything, but they're not thinking about what you're saying. They're thinking about, about will he get away from me because his breath friggin' stinks. A quick way is simply to drink some water. Bad breath happens a lot because you get really dry in the back of the throat, we get bacteria buildup. So by drinking water throughout the day, that is a very easy way to freshen up the breath. But I highly recommend that you've got some gum. Chewing gum, what it does is it actually promotes the, the production of saliva. Saliva, when it goes through the mouth, it actually goes through and it can freshen the breath because there's not going to be, it's not going to be as dry. But the point being is your teeth you feel good about them and your overall you don't have any blemishes on your clothing, you are going to be much more confident and that's what we're shooting for. Next up gentlemen, give your shoes a quick shine. A lot of people think this takes 20 minutes. No, in 20 to 30 seconds, you can make your shoes look better. Oftentimes, they just got dirt on them. So, make sure that you use your cleaning brush and you should have a separate cleaning brush from a shining brush, but you just want to go over and actually the shine, the, the wax that's already on there, you can actually make that shine, get rid of some of the dirt on there. Again, you only want to spend 30 to 40 seconds. If you don't have any polish in a crunch, yes, you can use a banana, but what I would recommend is that you actually keep neutral polish. What I love about neutral polish is it works with ox blood, it works with light brown, it works with dark brown, it works with black. Simply making sure that your shoes look good. This is something that people pick up on and it's going to make you feel more confident when you're out on that date, when you're given that presentation. Now, these next three tips, they build off each other, but I find them incredibly useful, especially when I'm traveling, I'm at a conference, I've got a long day, I'm given maybe the keynote speech at the end of that conference in front of hundreds of people, I need to be on my game. But guess what? I was up at four o'clock in the morning, did some work for my company, then I was networking all morning. I'm pretty exhausted and I've still got that presentation at 4 or 5 p.m. Guess what? I am first going to take a power nap. Yes, find a way to lay down for 30 minutes maybe 40 minutes, maybe a solid hour. Get in a quick snooze. It's kind of like resetting the clock. Now, when you wake up, the next tip I'm going to recommend is that you exercise. Why exercise? Well, if you didn't exercise in the morning, and that's probably the best time to do it, but you want to get in a quick run. You want to just get that heart going. You want to break a sweat. There's chemicals now running through your body. You're going to feel better. You're going to walk with a little bit lighter. I'm not saying you're going to lose any weight in that one workout, but that one workout, that one time day, you're all of a sudden going to feel better. I mean, definitely maybe get outside, go for a walk. I do this at conferences all the time. I simply go for a walk around the event, check out the city. Third part here, I go in and I shower, clean up and change. Now, if you don't have time for the other two, I still would recommend that you wash your face, that you put some water in your hair and you redo just so you can feel better. That helps sometimes if that's all you've got. But I recommend taking a really nice warm or cold shower, waking up, feeling great, giving yourself time to, you know, stop sweating and then put on some fresh clothing and go down and meet the second part of the day. All of a sudden, you've got a second wind and you are going to crush that presentation or date, whatever it may be. And the next tip, you don't want to shoot yourself in the foot. We're talking obvious things that you can avoid. Style mistakes that, yeah, stylish men don't make. What are those? Guys, check out this video right here. 10 
mistakes that stylish men never make. So don't make these things because otherwise, yeah, you're just giving you putting yourself at a disadvantage. Check out this video right here, guys. I will also link to it down in the description.